Live from our Jackson Studios. Uh, <laughs> live from the Midtown Jackson Studio and live from well in to Deep 13, this is Last Call Cafe on Spreaker with the animalistic Jay the Brain Man, the animalistic Matthew the Wizard Nichols, and... The pause for consideration, Steve, the Baxman Baxley. I'm Franklin Pangborn, your announcer, with Morgul as the friendly drug. Let's go to the cafe and find out what's going on and join the guys on a whole crowd. It's Lost Call Cafe on Spreaker! Welcome, welcome one and all to the Corsican Ball. That's right, it's another whacked out edition of the Last Call Cafe here on Sparica. And I am one of your hosts. I am Steve the Backhand Baxley. This is the show that enters your mind like an ear like an earwig and plays that funky music we all love so well. Then we feng shui the hell out of your mind. Until you can't take it anymore and well, we all know what happens, don't we? Anyway, folks, let me introduce. He is the uh, the gamer's best friend, man with the plan, the man with the info, the man with the mightiest of all gamerisms, ladies and gentlemen, the wizard Matthew Nichols. Sup? And the man, the myth, the legend, the intergender wrestling champion of the world, undefeated and unchallenged. They're all scared of this guy. He also hosts Wrestling Jay the Brain Man presents Wrestling Me Hudstein, Jay the Brain Man, Steve the Bax Man Bax. And it comes up, of course, after this show. As we continue to go live to tape here on Spreaker.com. He is the one, the only. And that's worth a nice big gulp of Crown Royal Apple Whiskey. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Okay, it is time for the first segment, which just happens to be the most funniest segment in the history of this broadcast. Why? Because it is time we learn a lesson, eh? We learn something. It's our educational portion of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a brainwave. Is there anything else you wish to add? <laughs> and that's this week's brainwave, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're starting off on a good note. Okay, time now 
bring you the Gamer's Voice of America. That's right, and here he is right now approaching the pulpit of Gamerama, the legend himself. Oh, <laughs> yes, Pangborn, you get to do the intro. Sorry, my bad. It's time for Gamer News with the wizard, Matthew Nichols. Don't ever do that again, Steve. <laughs> okay. Here's Matt. Thanks, Pingborn. Okay, this week on Gamer News, well, Nintendo has a, a direct, and there's sh- and it was showing off Super Nintendo World. Nintendo's new theme park has finally been completed. Which, if you don't know, Nintendo partnered with Universal to make a Mario a Nintendo theme park, and. Um, I have linked to direct inside our group's chat, and it's looking pretty cool. The theme park is going to be opening up in Japan on February. Let's see, February. I know it's February next year. So where's the day that? Yes, yes. February 4th, 2021 is when they're going to be opening up. And they have plans to bring it to Hollywood and California, Universal's Epic Universe in Orlando, and Universal Studios Singapore. Yep. It. It's looking pretty good. There's blocks you can actually hit. You can take a picture of Mario Luigi. And there's a restaurant run by the Toads from the Mario series with mushroom themed food. And you can even explore Bowser's castle and pretty much race an actual Mario Kart against Bowser. Yep. A lot of cool stuff in the Super Nintendo world. And that's pretty much it in terms of Nobu Gamer News. And that's Gamer News for this week. Join us next week when we bring you the Gamer News of 2020 and the best Gamer news of that year. I'm Franklin Penguin. Yes, and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what is the uh, uh, gamer's game of uh, the year. And, uh, oh, please, please, applaud. <laughs> okay, it is time here. To give you, uh, as we are, as we say, we go live to tape at 11 p.m. Eastern, the uh, results of WWE DLC, as we call it here, tables, ladders, chairs, and the Spanish announce booth. Okay, the kickoff show started with Big E, Daniel Bryan, Otis, and Chad Gable versus Sami Zayn, King, excuse me. What's his name, Corbin? Uh, Cesaro and Shinzuki Nakamura. And the winner of that belt was, believe it or not, Big E, Daniel Bryan, Otis and Chad Gable. Yep, they defeated Sami Zayn, uh, Cesaro, Shinzuki Nakamura, and, uh, okay, I'll say it, King Corbin. Okay. We go now to the uh, big spot, big lot, big cha-cha, otherwise known as TLC SCB. 
The WWE Championship, Drew McIntyre, the champion, versus AJ Styles in a TLC match. And the winner of that, ladies and gents, was Drew McIntyre. He retained that um, incredibly, incredibly. The SmackDown Women's Championship, Sasha Banks, who was uh, show, who did the season finale, the shocking season finale, I might add, of Disney's The Mandalorian. And for those of you that haven't seen it, oh, are you in for some surprises? Yes. Thank you. No spoilers here, folks. But uh, champion Sasha Banks took on Carmella, who I think is still going with Corey. What's his name? Anyway, the winner of that was Sasha Banks uh, via a submission to retain the title. We go to the Raw Tag Team Championship, the New Day champions versus the Hurt Business. And... The winner of that match and new tag team champions, the Hurt Business. Wow. Have we seen the last of the new day? Maybe, perhaps. Stay tuned. Winners tag team championship, Nia uh, Jax and Shayna Baszler, the champions, versus Azuka and we have a cheesy drum roll, if you please. Charlotte Flair! And who won that match? The winners? And no! Women! Tag Team Champions Azuka and Charlotte Flair! There you go. Uh, the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns, the champion, took on Kevin Owens, or as he's now known frequently in the WWE, Jobber. Another TLC match. And um, this one went to... Looking good. Roman Reigns retained the title. The table disintegrated. In a very unusual match, the Firefly Inferno match, Randy Orton took on The Fiend, a Bray Wyatt. And the winner of that match was Randy Orton. And, uh, wow, what, what can we say? But the way it ended, whoa. I'll tell you all about that on WrestleMania Hub. Huh? But Randy Orton defeated The Fiend. And let's just say in a nice, uh, in a nice flambe. So that was the final, uh, the um, final, as they like to call it, uh, pay-per-view of 2020. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, uh, like to uh, explain what's going on. Uh, I am uh, still working with uh, the Amazon. Fire Kindle slash tablet. My laptop is in the shop, and they are uh, reprogramming it. We're going to see if the Windows update will finally take hold, so everything can go back on it. And hopefully, I'll get it back before New Year's Eve. Yeah, I'm hoping. Believe me, I'm hoping. Right now, it's uh, the tablet and a very crappy boost mobile phone with more cracks and uh, missing pieces than a plastic surgeon would have. So, uh, again, I apologize, but bear with us as uh, we continue to do this, or as I do my part of this, uh, very much sort of haphazard-ish here. Uh, let's see. Let's get you some uh, entertainment news before we ask for forgiveness. I think I've already did. 
All right, folks. Come on. Cook us up, please. Cook us up. Get some uh, movie and entertainment news. And uh, the first, uh, next year, we're going to uh, ask for some guests. We're going to hopefully have some guests here. We're going to see, or uh, yeah, we're going to see if uh, Discord works with Skype. Again, good luck to us all. We're going to see if uh, Skype will work with, I mean, Discord will work with Skype. Now we're going to find something that will. Uh, yeah, because I already had in mind of a guest do you want to tell him? Oh, please. Please. Be my guest, my friend. Be my guest. Alright. So, I suggested to Steve on our next guest or potential guest a talented artist who is the creator of a webtoon called Starlight and Straylight Tiger. And she goes by the username Flying Red Hay. You can also find her on Twitter at Flying Frappuccino. She makes some pretty great artwork. She's made Animal Crossing fan art, and I know she's got some um, Animal Crossing seasonal charms that are up for pre-order, and if you're one of her patrons, you get a 10% discount, which I already pre-ordered. So hopefully, if we can get all this to work, we can get her on the show. Keyword, hopefully. And if she even has the time to work. It's probably going to take a while before we even get Frappe on the show. Hmm. Okay, so uh, we're, we're already starting to get uh, suggestions for guests. We're hoping to get this... Uh, this... Uh, uh, this uh, interesting and, and entertaining guest on our uh, our little show. Uh, follow if you want to catch her on Twitter. Her uh, Twitter uh, handle is Flying Frappe. And she's also got a uh, Twitch. She's also on Twitch. Okay. Um... um. I get our Twitch right now. Okay. We're, we're really and she's also got the Discord server as well. Yeah, I'm going to see if uh, Discord... Uh, I'm going to see this week if uh, Discord works with Skype or Skype works with Discord. If it does, we may have something. By the way, uh, the uh, link is uh, www.twitch.tv or twitch.tv forward slash flying poppe. Okay. Yeah, she'll usually tweet out when she streams. It's mostly her drawing, her comic or artwork. She's very good. And she usually has some pretty good relaxing music playing in the background. Ah, coolness. And as I already said, I already linked her webtoon comic. It's a sci-fi comic. It was nominated for best. For mm -hmm. best sci-fi web and the 2020 web to campus. Ratings for WWE Raw. Showing pictures that match. Okay, so hopefully, we'll our first guest will be we like Carl Frappuccino. So uh, please uh, tune in for that. 
And uh, if you'll forgive me for a moment. Mm. Uh, let's see. Come on, guys. Give me a break here on the phone. Um, USA Network mad at uh, WWE Raw's ratings. I'll figure that out. Wait, I'll figure that out for the show. Anyway. Boy. Um, there we go. Okay. Yay. Finally, something's wo- working right here. Okay. Um, it's uh, 1121. And right now, it is time for Mr. Pangborn to earn that extra buck. It's time to see who gets the belch of the, the insidious belch of the week. Pangborn, do your stuff. And now it's time to right the wrongs of others to pay back those who have did wrong. To punish them with one thing. And one thing only. This is the insidious belch of the week. And now, with the belch, here he is, General Big Jimmy, Billy Bob Bo Sports, and Timmy. Thank you. Thank you. Evening. At ease. Please come if you got him. Jimmy, how are you? Yes, sir, I'm here and I'm doing good. Gentlemen! <clears throat> Gentlemen! <clears throat> Gentlemen! How are you doing? Matthew, how are you doing, Wizard? I'm doing well. Thank you. Brian! How's it going, sir? Good. All right. Well, tonight, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking the voice is going. I think, hmm, excuse me, Timmy, would you uh, hand me the little drink there, boy? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now that's better. Okay. You sure that's right. There we go. Got it right. Okay. Um, not much of a one belch, but yeah, yeah, we got a good belch. And this belch is going to go. to Microsoft for their Windows 10 update. I know, Max, man, you had a little trouble. I'll say a little trouble <clears throat> with with the uh, with the update. You've tried that many times. And you are not the only one, apparently. There are more than 10,000 that we know of. We've had this problem, so we bring you the Belch of Belches. So, Microsoft, Mr. Bill Gates, uh, we hope this Belch update gets to your computers like your Windows 10 update. Not the Steve's and everyone else's. And screw their computer laptops up. So, have you got all the stuff there? Yes, sir, I do. All right. You're getting ready for New York. So am I, but... Uh, what's that? Oh. Oh, I got to read this. Wow. Looks like we'll be doing New Year's Eve. Here in the studio. The uh, New Year's Eve party, shindig, no public. It's going to be all virtual. 
Boy, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Anyway, so we'll be doing it in the studio with you guys. Well, that's, I guess, the one update that's uh, pretty well good. First COVID. Well, right now, you got it all? Yes, sir, I do. Well, on three. Fire! All right, we got it. All right, I'll see you guys next Sunday. I want to wish everybody Feliz Navidad, Joyous Noel, Merry Christmas, and for God's sakes, let us all hope 2021 will be a better year than this. It's better. It better indeed. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, hopefully, uh, did we do, yes, we did, sir, and, uh, they said that, uh, they will be ready. Oh, good. Boys, I took your advice, and I called, um, I called, uh, Vinny, and, uh, his people over there in, uh, that lovely little place known as New Jersey, and they told me to tell you, and I think we got the tape here, do we not? Uh, Lord, Lord Hawthorne? Yes, we certainly do. Okay, let's, uh, hear it about, uh, what's it? No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Anyway, Vinny and Louie, they're ready. They got it all set up. If you thought last year was a blast, wait till this New Year's. We're going to really treat 2020 like, uh, well, like a bitch. Excuse the expression. Yep, using a belch that has not been used since the 60s, I believe. Is that, that? Is, that is correct. They have, they have mixed together a formula that, oh man, anyone goes near the place where they have about in the year 2020, they're going to need about 15 showers to get rid of the stench. So, guys, they're ready. They're ready. This is, this is the ultimate belch. And it's one that we rarely, if ever, use. Last year was a medium. This is triple luck sale. The boss, we got it covered. Jimmy, we better get going to make final preparations. Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you next week. Christmas! All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. There you go. And they did tell us that they have everything ready for New Year's Eve. And I'm crossing my fingers for two things. My laptop coming back and we can be New Year's Eve live here on Spreaker. Uh, so uh, get ready for all that. We're going to have some comedy stuff. We're going to have some stuff to make you laugh. And then we're going to kick 2021 off with a bang. And uh, give you the belt of the year, which we all know who's got, who's going to get it. So, guys, final words? I got nothing. Matthew? Wizard? Well, I hope that 2020 wins there, and I hope we can actually somehow get guests on this show. You speak it truth, my friend. Anyway, also, that's what... I linked the tweet that shows the Barpay's public server in the group. Okay, we shall, we shall indeed uh, look that up, and hopefully everything will be back to normal before we next come back to you on Sunday. From all of us, from me, Jay, Math- Matthew. 
everyone involved in this show, I just want to say one thing. Thank you for putting up with all that has been happening here. We know this year hasn't been much, but uh, doing our best to uh, make things a little light. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Keep up the faith, stay safe, and remember, you got friends, and they're the best support group you can ever have. Thanks, everybody, for watching or watching. Thanks, everybody, for listening. For the gentlemen here and the folks out there on Spreaker, thank you. And we'll see you next week for uh, a good Sunday show and then our New Year's Eve show. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Russell Amy Hutt's coming up rather shortly.